Hello, people. It's Phil Drujin from Moscow. Uh, yesterday we had a nice chat with Rosette, so um, find the link in the description. And today I'm just gonna show you some pictures that I found on my Facebook uh, friends list, uh, which actually represent evidence of mud flood. As you can see, this church is near Moscow, and it has unproportional first floor, and it's also located at so-called Golden Ring of Russia, where it's touristic mecca, something like this. So, uh, might as well check it out if you go to Russia, visit the Golden Ring, plenty of evidence there. And these pictures are from Europe, and as you can see the first floor uh, was uh, really unproportional to the second and the third. And also this church is really representing a great masterpiece of brickwork and masonry. Uh, also many questions about tower and probably we're gonna make a new video pretty much soon. Uh, on London and evidence nearby uh, also uh, plenty of pictures coming out from London and they also show uh, reconstructions of the first floors and stuff like this and uh, looking at the people standing right next to the very first floors which are supposed to be in London and also many pictures from uh, Germany people showing such great uh, masterpieces and uh, I just don't know when I'm gonna uh, cover Germany or maybe I'm gonna visit it uh, this year or next one who knows I have many friends there uh, this is the Arch uh, National Park and National Reservations and also looks many evidence of mining and living those so-called volume markers which uh, give the miners the amount of uh, the soil actually taken away and uh, we see it's just the mining for the soil so probably it does consist of some something else and may be used for uh, terraformations uh, worldwide that's why we have uh, so many evidence of this just uh, taken away of the soil and leaving those marks everywhere uh, and they call it just uh, the uh, cause of the wind and stuff like this but I don't think so so many ground is taken away so many rock is taken away so it can create many many speculations actually and uh, people uh, believing in those rocks thinking they had like some representation of some ancient history but for me just uh, just a representation of uh, mining and uh, quarry huge quarries which are now just you know abandoned by those who were mining many the roots uh, maybe the roots of uh, previous trees may be just uh, taken away of uh, ground for terraformations and this arch uh, national park does represent uh, this thing for me it's on my own opinion and we have to research it of course a visit to United States in some distant uh, not very distant future would be uh, okay and maybe I can visit my friends and uh, my whole family which were uh, accommodating me for more than a year something like this and so many uh, different uh, caves and stuff like this and those pictures looking like arches and stuff like this so Indians really did believe in, uh, in those stones so maybe something is undercover and this is actually uh, Turkey the so-called FS uh, so plenty of rocks of uh, ancient ruins and stuff like this and looking very strange sometimes so uh, if I visit Turkey I probably go to FS because it's really a representation of mixing of uh, reconstruction and ancient technologies so people if you have any pictures that really represent some examples and good for research you can might as well send me uh, and this picture of equilibrium is also significant and I want you guys to write me a comment what do you think about it so see you later thanks a lot for watching and probably coming up pretty soon with new videos bye